Contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey guys, Tim here again, timscomputerfix.net. Hey listen, I uploaded a video about a year ago on an HP Split model 13-R010DX. And upon the teardown, we were, tr we were looking at troubleshooting or having a look at the hard drive on that uh, computer. And I had this computer here. But uh, what I ended up determining at the end of, the, of, at the end of it is that the um, hard drive that's in this uh, tablet slash laptop hybrid is, is a hard drive that has a proprietary connector. And so therefore the repair couldn't be done. I couldn't replace the drive, hybrid drive. And they're using a proprietary connector on this. It's with their own proprietary cable. So there's no way to actually change this hard drive out. It's a really bad idea of HP. But I'm gonna to have to get the data off using this tablet. And that'd be the only way I can do it with what tools that I have anyways. But at least here, we see how to get to the hard drive. We see. The whole idea of that was for me to retrieve the data off of the hard drive that was failing. And I then explained that there is no way to pull data off that drive as there is a proprietary connection. Very similar to what the Western Digital and Seagate external uh, backup drives have when you disassemble them and try to retrieve data. So anyways, I have this, I have an update to this, okay? And I have the same exact computer that I used in that video. Um, so basically the hard drive is in the tablet top part. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna disconnect that and we'll move that out of the way. And uh, I've already had this somewhat taken apart. So we'll pop it open. And uh, then as you'll see and remember from the previous video, Okay, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to have another look at this drive so I can show you what we're talking about here. It's not going to take us long to take that apart. Just kind of remove some of these cables here. And I have to remove that. We'll just remove these couple screws here. Have another look. Now, uh, I assume that most other models of the HP Split have the same connection. I'm just assuming that. I would have thought they would. And I'm actually going to contact this, this person back and see if they're still interested in getting data off of this drive. I kept this around simply because uh, in case there was ever a way that we can retrieve data off of this computer, off of this hard drive, or if they ever came out with something that allowed you to. So in that video, I had to tear off this metal stuff and there's a western digital black in here 500 gigs and i just taped this back up when i finished when i put this back together because i had to kind of rip it off so let me just pull this tape back off here right so after pulling this off right if you on my old video uh, this cable right here can be pulled off and that exposes the connection which is not a standard SATA connection. Uh, this is a hybrid solid state drive by the way with this type of connector that I had thought at the time there were no, this was something that Western Digital did similar to what they did in their external hard drives. It's just a proprietary connection. What I have since found out is that this connection here is actually called an SFF-8784 connector. And actually what I have found here recently is that you can actually purchase this SFF drive, Western Digital, 
off of Amazon. I'll put the link down in the chat for $60, 500 gig. So, that still doesn't help me with my issue of, it fixes the hard drive problem of getting the computer back up, but it still doesn't fix the issue of how can I get data off of this drive. Well, I also found an adapter board at Amazon, and I will put the link down in the chat, that has that SFF connector right there. And you basically, I would have to take off this, uh, I would have to, to take off this caddy. Actually, I'm going to do that now. It's off all this protective film or whatever. Jeez. Okay. Here's the drive itself. This will, this will be what it looks like when you purchase it off of Amazon. But here, but you just basically take this adapter pop that guy right in and that's going to give it power and here's your on the other side here is your common SATA connector so what you do is you just plug in your SATA power connector and your SATA data cable and that will in turn power this and then you'll be able to pull your data off of it. Very cool. Uh, I honestly didn't know about this little adapter. Somebody um, in my uh, chat there and YouTube pointed that out to me which is very interesting to know. Like I said I'm going to call this customer back and I'm going to uh, see if she's still interested in, in at least getting the data off of this drive. But I wanted to make a follow-up video of that, guys, because uh, uh, I wanted to be sure everybody knew that there is a way to replace the drive and or retrieve data off of one of these SFF-8784 drives. So, hey, listen, I hope that helps somebody out. As usual, please rate and subscribe to my feed. I would really appreciate that. You can find me over at timscomputerfix.net. I have more computer repair videos coming your way. And until next time, everyone, see you soon.